Are yes, we... you are live on air. Go ahead. What do you like to say to us? Hello? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. What do you like to say to say us, Mr. Omar? <clears throat> yes, yes. Sorry. So uh, you're asking, um, I can't be too loud, but you're asking about, uh, your question was basically, are there any Muslims who would like to come and respond to this, correct? All right, Is go that... ahead. We're listening. Yeah. So essentially, what the way I understood this from an Islamic perspective is that obviously, um, this was prescribed at a time hmm. when this was the available remedy. This was the available medication. Mm -hmm. Just like if at different times of the world, like people pursued the medication that was available in the areas that they have, which is why we see all sorts of different kind of medicines being used in okay. indigenous cultures, Chinese cultures, and the like. But to say that this is something that should still be used today is not <laughs> something that is uh, so are prescribed. You saying, okay, are you saying that this is uh, was good at the time of the Prophet, but it's wrong now? What I'm saying is this was the available remedy at the time he prescribed it. Okay. That's what I'm saying. But as you see, global, like uh, there's a, there's a, a many a, a huge organization warning from drinking camel urine and camel milk both. And they are saying they are full of diseases and cause a lot of harm to the body health, including yeah. viruses. So obviously when Muhammad, he claimed that he is teaching something, he is claiming yeah. that Allah told him, right? Yeah. So don't, Allah knew, don't Allah knew that camel urine is harmful for the body of a human being. Well, don't that that depends because i've read some articles that say that there are potentially benefits in it as well my friend those articles written by muslims why does that matter right those no, articles no it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you muslims you say things just to support you see because we are talking about science not about me as a believer i try to defend and fabricate stories here we go this is world organization including the united nation warning muslims from drinking camel urine and drinking even camel milk there's a lot of viruses, they come only with such a milk or even, uh, uh, and, and the urine is an acid. So all of them agree that this is, uh, 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 you know, this is not a treatment. This is illness, this is madness, this will kill you. So when okay, you say to okay, me, it doesn't matter who is the one who wrote the article. No, it does matter. And the Muslims always they write article and they fabricate information. I never saw a Muslim article telling the truth. Okay, but here's here's the thing, right? Like with with science and medicine, like there's always it's always changing in terms of what we consider healthy and what we consider don't what we don't consider healthy. Like even for example, um, milk. Like these days, there's this movement that say don't even drink milk for drinking milk is unhealthy for you, right? Like so, I think to say that oh, just because science and doctors say this today means that it is objectively true. I think history would uh, yeah, counter remember, because it's changed remember, all the time. Remember that the one who said that. Is the God who don't change his knowledge is fixed his yes. knowledge. okay so when Allah he says drink camel urine don't Allah knew the negative and the positive of whatever he said to drink absolutely okay. absolutely so if it was not good today why it is good at that time he should not say that should they say give us the right medicine so changing the time would not to change the fact that he is giving us the wrong medicine so if Allah is all wise and Allah is all knowing, he should give us a medicine fit for any time. Doesn't matter what it is. You agree? I know. But one of the beautiful things about the deen mm. uh, is that it's it's flexible. So at, at this time, the hadith is prescribed. This is a hadith. It's not part of the Quran. If yeah, there was a person what, flexible, the Quran, what flexible mean? I'm talking to you. I, I don't know. How old are you, my, my friend uh, Omar? Oh, it doesn't matter how old I am. I'm, I'm an adult. I'm okay, I'm an adult. So let us say. You say to me, I'm an adult. Adult means that you have a brain and you are mature to make decision, correct? Absolutely, okay. yes. Was Allah mature when he said the drink camel urine and milk or he was not mature? Are you saying to me that Allah at that time was not was not a mature God? And now he became no, no, a mature no. God? I think the term mature we can't even use in relation to God because mature implies that there was a change from immaturity to maturity. So well, I don't say that Allah is mature. Allah no, is all knowing. We can't say that because Allah never been mature. I can prove it to you in the front of your eyes. This is a, this is a statement of a person who is not mature. Okay, my friend. Look, if he prescribed camel urine at the time, hmm. right? That is what what's wrong with that? Like it was what was available, and it, the hadith clearly says. Yeah, until it's the poison. It's poison. Possible. I mean, it's, first of all, it's disgusting. Secondly, it's poison. It's an acid, and it's a pure acid, actually. Especially for is the that, camel. Is chemotherapy not an acid? Is chemotherapy? My friend, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That, you know, yeah. don't, don't go. We cannot. So, are you going? To, are you saying to me now we can use the camel urine for cancer? 
I'm not saying that okay. at all. Like, so that why is a, that? no, no. You see, you are mixing things up. You are mixing things up big, big time. We cannot, we cannot compare between this and that. So, if the camel urine work for any diseases and any, give me one disease, the camel urine can fix it. That is, that is, that's mad. So, all organization in the world, they say this is bad. This is wrong. Muslims dying everywhere because of this recipe Muhammad he gave. Until now, they practice it, and they don't listen. So you, instead of saying Allah was wrong and the Prophet was making hummus, you are defending saying it was good for that time. But what was good in that time? Did, did that heal people at that time? According to this hadith, they did not say and drank their milk and urine until their bodies became healthy. Mm -hmm. So it, it obviously it had an effect. The hadith says it right there. How we know that they are drinking the milk became... and etc. Okay, let me ask you, did Muhammad die and he was sick? Absolutely, yes. Okay. So Muhammad, the one who died and he himself, he was sick. Why Allah did not give him the right medicine, which is camel urine and camel milk? Why are you assuming that in Islam, every single sickness has to be healed with camel urine? Okay, let me ask you. Muhammad, he said, I'm not assuming, I'm going to show you what your prophet said. Sure. The prophet said that if you eat seven ajwa, you, yes. know, you know what ajwa means, right? Dates, yes. Okay. So if you eat seven ajwa, no poison can kill you and no black magic can affect you. Yeah. Okay. Is that a true or this is fiction? If that hadith is considered sahih and it's true, then it's true. It is sahih hadith. This is sahih Bukhari. But, so it is yes, true. Okay. okay. So do you agree that if you eat seven ajwa, no poison can affect you? I agree with that. If, if that's what the hadith says, then yeah, I agree. Have you ever that. heard of somebody try that? I, I tried it. I've tried eating seven dates. You tried seven dates, but did you try to drink poison after that? No, I haven't. Why not? Why would I do that? Because in Islam, you can't inflict harm upon yourself. No, you're not. You just, you see, you just said, if you drink poison, you are harming yourself. So you are saying that the prophet, obviously, he is not right because that would do harm. So. If, if 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 you if you are saying I will not do it because that will make harm on me, that's mean Muhammad is lying to you. No, okay, you have to understand, Akhi, in, in the Sharia, mm. there's something called it's about weighing the pros, the, the pros and the cons. So some things can be bad for you, mm. but their good might outweigh the bad. Mm. So like medicine, you know, a lot of medicine tastes bad, and it, it might like it might even even chemotherapy, like it takes away your hair and stuff, and it and mm. weakens your bones, mm. but it has a benefit in the end. Okay. So Allah says that he has not sent down a sickness okay. except without cure. All right, my friend, the prophet he used to eat seven ajwa every day in the morning, and this is why he's advising the Muslim to do so. Correct? I don't know if he ate it every single day. So why he is saying it? Some some days he would wake up and there were no food, so he would just he would just fast. So he didn't eat it every single oh, day. Oh, poor guy. Okay, so so, uh, so he did not always eat seven ajwa. No. But ajwa is everywhere there. This is the normal. I'm, I'm telling you what that, what, based off my knowledge, what the hadith says. Okay. But if I may ask so you, let me ask brother, you then: Did Muhammad okay. die by poison? I I don't know. I don't know exactly how he so died. What do you mean you I've don't heard know? different things. What, what, heard do, you, different what do you mean you don't know? Here we go. I, I don't know how he died. This is He's the hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari. This is a Sahih hadith. It says that the Prophet he died by the poison which yes. he ate at Khaybar. So the Prophet he says to you, if you eat seven ajwa, as uh, poison will not affect you. So, which mean, ajwa is a solution for poison. Do you agree? Ajwa is a protection, not a solution for poison. It's a protection for poison. Protection. So, you are saying that Muhammad, he made a mistake. He did not eat seven ajwa before he ate the poison. Very possibly, yes. That mm -hmm. day that he got it, very okay. possibly he didn't so eat the ajwa, So, the ajwa, so the one who told him about the ajwa can stop poison is Allah. Do you agree? Absolutely. Okay. Why Allah did not tell him another medicine can delete? I mean, there is there is a lot of medicine today. There's people they they get bite by snakes every day, but they don't die as before. Like and unless you are far away from hospital, it's too late. So Allah, who come with the idea of ajwa, seven ajwa, can't He give him another medicine to say, okay, seven ajwa to stop the poison to inf to have influence on you or to kill you before you eat the poison? Can't he give him a medicine says this is the solution, don't worry, be happy? Well, he what he told him was that, you know, and what the hadith says is that if you eat the ajwa, mm. then inshallah you will be protected from those two things. You will be protected. Mm. So that's what Allah says. 
But so do you think? Let me, let prophet, me be honest so with you. you think, so, do, so do you think the prophet, uh, Allah, he did not give him ajwa, so he will die? Because you are saying to me, the prophet sometimes he don't eat, and uh, he is hungry, and yeah. uh, that the, uh, he, he, there's no guarantee he eat ajwa every day. So you are saying to me that Allah he caused his death by poison, by making him out of ajwa. Well, in Islam, we believe that actually the people who are tried with the worst hardships hmm. are the prophets, and then the people after them, and the people after them. So, I'm even if you, my friend, uh, I want to focus with me. You I'm say, focusing with you. You're no, saying, no. Why would Allah do that? Right? Yeah. You're asking, no, why why Allah? Okay, so are you saying to me, Allah is the one who killed Muhammad by poison? No, what I'm saying is, Allah is the one who decrees, and He is control, He's in control of all evil and what is good. And he right. says that he will very Thank clearly. So Allah he decrees. Evil and good. Okay, so Allah decrees the death of Muhammad by poison. Uh, is that your final answer? Well, you have you have to prove to me that we, we for certain that he died out of poison. So are you are you accusing your prophet to be a liar? No, no, I'm not okay. saying that. But I'm well, just your telling prophet you. saying so. Your prophet, this is a says in his element which he died. He used to say, "Oh Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar." And at this yeah. time, I feel as my orta being cut off. So from the poison. So if Muhammad is inspired by Allah, and even if he speaks a drink camel urine, it's from Allah. Is it? This yes. is from Allah. Yes. Okay. Everything that he says is from Allah. All right. So he is saying that he died by poison. So why you are saying to me, there's no proof he died from poison? No, no, I didn't say there's no proof. I said prove it to me that he died from poison. I, I, I don't have, you I don't did, have every you, you single just, hadith you just, No, you just did prove it to me. You said to me that this is from Allah. So uh, are you saying Allah is lying? Allah saying. Why are you putting words in my mouth? No, no, no. Okay. I'm not saying that at all. But you are saying to me, prove it. Exactly. I'm just okay. telling you. Show me where you know why you're so certain that he died from poison. And I told you who the prophet said, and I asked you when the prophet say, is it Allah saying? You say yes. Okay. Yes. The prophet and what's your saying, reference? Can you show me the reference so I can look it up? Yeah. This is Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number four four two eight. Hadith Bukhari four four two eight. But look, I don't. I know. I know you make a lot of videos and and you attack Islam and and you attack our Prophet alayhi salam. Mm. Why don't we talk about the really crucial thing here? And what's up with Islam and Christianity? Don't change, don't change the topic, please. Why? Why? Because really, the the biggest topic, the no, biggest because here the we, we are, the no, we are exp the biggest topic is a scam. There's people who millions of people believe in a scam, and either is true or this is a scam. So here we go. This is the link I'm sending to you to save your time from looking. Did you not? Did you not just say? Did I you not just say that you don't mind people changing the topic? I don't mind, but we started the conversation, me and you. So why we don't finish it? And then you can we can go to the front thing, no problem. I, I think I explained what I needed to explain no, no, here. No, you did not. You did not. You said to me, show me the reference, and here we go. I'm showing you the reference. Is, are, okay. Are, are we finished now? No. So, do you accept this that Muhammad he was lying, and he is saying that he is no, dying by poison? Okay. Lying. So you have to accept that Muhammad died by poison. And if you say to me, let me see, let me see, let me see what the hadith says. I'm looking it up. No, no, I send you the link. Just check uh, check the link you have it's there. Yeah, it's yeah. Front I'm front gonna open it up. Here we go. What do you think? And at this time, I feel as if my uh, orta is being cut from that poison. Mm. And his arm in which he died, alayhi salam, and his arm in which he died, he used to say, mm. yeah, okay. Okay, so this is true, right? Yeah, I mean, the hadith says the Prophet, alayhi salam, right. and his arm so, in which he yeah. died, used to say. Let's analyze the information together. You say that the yeah. Prophet, he not always he can eat seven ajwa because sometimes he is hungry. Okay. Yeah, so there's no food. Up, oh, there's no okay. food. Yeah. Who is the one who stopped the supply from Ajwa or Ajwa to Muhammad? Allah. 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 So that you are saying that Allah, he joined the conspiracy of those evil people and killed his prophet. Because the Jewish women is the one who put the poison for the prophet. But Allah, he planned for it. Look what happened. Uh, Let me ask you the same. Can I not ask on, you the hold same on, question? Hold on, hold on. No, no, you cannot ask me the same question because we need to finish it first. And you can ask me the same question. No problem. And here, what we see that you are saying by your logic, not my logic. Allah, he decided to stop Muhammad from eating ajwa because if he eat ajwa, then the poison will not work. And then Allah, after he make him unable to find ajwa to eat, he sent the Jewish women, she put poison in his food. And then the prophet, he ate from the food which have poison. And yeah. now Muhammad dying slowly with very horrible pain. Sure. So yeah. yeah. Let's, one, I mean, I, again, I can't confirm all these details, but okay. let's assume that what you're saying. So you agree. You agree now that Allah is the one who killed the prophet in a very evil way. Allah is the one who kills. He causes everything to die. Okay. So certainly he's the one who okay. caused the prophet. Thank you. But isn't it in the Quran? It says 
that if the prophet is lying fabricating Quran I will cut his artery yes absolutely okay so we'll what 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 of what of is cut off in the hadith the artery of the prophet and this is exactly what the Quran saying if Muhammad is lying certainly chapter 69 verse number 45 and 46 and 48 if he yeah. is lying if he is fabricating if our messenger is inventing any saying in our name what we should do we should certainly size him by his right hand and we should yeah. certainly cut off his artery okay but now what we what we got you are the one who agreed that the prophet was killed by a conspiracy made by allah decrees of allah he it's made not, it's not a to it's a of, yeah. what it's, it's not a conspiracy it's the decree of allah just like all of us no will problem. die you see no the, the decree of allah is conspiracy here because muhammad isn't aware what's happening correct so so if i don't know when i'm gonna die does that mean allah is conspiring against me my friend no he is causing his death by poison this is not about normal death he's causing sure. he is shortening his life not in a normal death so allah he is a partner partner with the jew he partnered with the jew to kill muhammad and the, These plan, are some the plan is very the following the, the, saying the plan is the following allah will cut the supply of ajwa from the break, breakfast of the prophet so he will wake up in the morning, he will not find the ajwa, he will not be able to eat ajwa. And then the Jewish woman, she bring the food, and Muhammad eat the, the food, and then Muhammad, he die by poison. And that will confirm that Muhammad is a fraud, because the Quran says that if Muhammad is inventing anything in our name, certainly we should cut off his artery. And this is exactly how Muhammad died. The artery. Hmm. Do you know, do you know what, that, what that ayah means? Read it for me. Yeah, I know, I just read it for you. Read it in Arabic. I don't know Arabic. Yes, you do know Arabic. I speak Pakistani, Urdu. No, I'm pretty sure you speak Arabic. Do you not speak Arabic? Okay, it says Thumma. Just hold on. Sometimes the breed squeeze me. Uh, he activate the Arabic. Sometimes he don't. Thumma laqata'na minhu al-watin. And what does that mean? Go ahead. Okay. Hmm. That is uh, what's the verse number again? Chapter sixty-nine, verse number forty-six. Forty-six. Okay. Then we would cut from him uh, the orator. Then, yeah, then we would cut from him the orator. Mm. And there's nothing that one of you could prevent us from him. Mm. Um, and if he made up any false statements, and if Muhammad السلام, had made up about us false sayings, mm. uh, we should have seized him by the right hand. Mm. Mm. Right? We would have seized him by the right hand. Mm. Show me where that happens. I just showed, Prove you, to me that I just showed you in the hadith. No, no, show me where Allah seizes him by the right hand. Oh, he did not see him from the right hand. That's what the, that's what the Quran oh, says. Let me explain to you what size him by your uh, Muhammad. He eat by the right hands, don't he? Isn't it Muhammad? He, he says you have to eat by the right hands. Otherwise, the shaitan will eat with you if you eat with the left hand. So Allah sized him. He killed him by his right hands. He made him eat. He listen, listen. He made him eat by his right hand the poison which will cause his death. So Allah sized him by his own right hand not the hand of allah the hand of muhammad is the reason for muhammad to die muhammad always eat by the right hand and i show you tons of hadith about muhammad saying that so that's allah, true no, no, there's no doubt about that okay so muhammad he sized himself by the right hand and he cut he caused that because of that he cut himself his artery and he died as a fraud what the what the ayah says and the word is hmm. surely we will yeah, have we will seized. take our right from him by his right hand we will take it from him what he sure took from did, us, allah, okay. did allah, so allah, allah he did took allah. from him his life hmm? did allah come down and grab him by the right hand is that what you're My telling friend, me this is your this is your understanding of a grabbing right what is and it, this what, is, that's what, it says, what it says a grabbing you speak arabic i speak arabic show me the word the grabbing and i will grab you from anywhere you want La akhadna, surely we La akhadna, this means we took, we take, we take, correct? Seized. We One take. translation. No, seized. no, no. You see, this is your translation. What the akhadna, the word akhada in Arabic means we take. Do you agree? Take, seize, sure. No, okay. So we take from him by the right hand. So we take from him what? His life. La akhadna minhu bil yamin. Hmm. We would have seized him by the right hand, sure. But, okay, so that's it. So Allah. He made Muhammad eat the poison by his right hand, and this is how he cut off his artery. And the hadith confirming that Muhammad he died 
by the poison which ate in Khaybar and you are the one who agree that this is the decree of Allah and Allah caused Muhammad death by the poison okay but you would have to prove that he for Allah to do this he would have had he would have had to lie about it my friend, and Allah my friend says okay. very clearly if you make a prophecy sort of Najim, my friend Allah. can you stop can you stop cutting me off like I'm not cutting you off. So you're getting upset now. Take it easy. Take I'm, not, I'm not getting upset. Take I'm not getting upset. Take some just, camera uh, and we'll cool you down. Listen, take it easy. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm really not upset. Don't I'm be quite, upset. Quite, it's, quite okay. it's okay. It's okay. Sometimes I get upset too. Like, you know, sometimes I sit in a high, like I go in the, in the top of the ladder and I sit up, you know, but this is not the question now. You are the I'm one who agreed. Sorry. You are the one who agreed that Muhammad died by poison. And this is obviously the decree of Allah. Did you agree on that or not? Absolutely. Okay. I'm what as I'm long saying is the degree of Allah. That's mean Allah is the one, the real reason for Muhammad death. Do you agree in that or not? Allah is the one who causes death. That's Thank what you. I would say. So it is not the Jewish women, correct? They are a means by which Allah Thank causes. Thank you. So Allah he used a Jewish women to kill Muhammad. The question why? Why, for example, I could ask that question about anything. Why does Allah even cause death to anyone? No, the answer is there because Muhammad he made a challenge in the Quran. He says that Allah told him. If Muhammad is lying, he will cut him, he will cut his life in a certain way. And he also says in the Quran, Thank like you. your companion Thank you. has not transgressed or no Thank, no you. Thank you. So, but this is a verse in the Quran. So maybe what happened later, Muhammad start adding things. So Allah punish him. What do you think? What I think is that if you're saying that God caused it, caused the degree, the, the, the decree of Muhammad alayhi salam to die, mm. then I could ask you the same question. Don't you say that the father sent his only son to die mm. for the sins of mankind? Yeah, but you see here, Jesus, he knew what he's coming for. And Jesus, he and Muhammad him, alayhi salam knew no, he was going to no, die. No, he Jesus, no, die. Muhammad did not know. This is why he is yes, making he the was. challenge. Yes, no, he, he don't know. No, he don't know. Here we go. Even the Quran. I can prove it to you. Okay, prove it to me. Go ahead. There is a hadith, and I have to look this up, and I can give it to you. Okay. There's a, there's a hadith where it says, Al-Malik al maut they came to him, mm. and they asked him, it's like, you, you have a choice. You can either stay, or you can go and return to Allah. Mm. And he used to say, Bal rafiq al -ala. No, but I want the companionship of the Most High. What does that mean? So he knew that he was going to come. What he knew mean? that he was going to die. Well, everybody will die. No, no, but he knew, and even in the Hajj, my like friend, he, made, he, he knew. Made a I know I will die too, and you know you will die too, and we are dead people already. What's wrong with you? We are asking how he will die. Do Muhammad knew that Allah will cut his artery? The, the, the answer, no, because this is was this is was a artery. significant it's, it's a significant thing. Your pro, your God, He promised. Suppose your God is talking, saying if He do such a thing, if He lie, which means if this is happened, that Muhammad was a liar. So Allah should not let that happen unless, don't, are you saying to me Allah is a fool? No, I'm okay. certainly not. So if Allah says, okay, if a Christian prince is lying, I will make him shish kebab. And then Christian prince became shish kebab. Isn't it clear that Allah, he made me shish kebab because I'm lying? Okay, you're, you're taking you're taking your interpretation and trying to find an interpretation. Not my interpretation, give me yours, my friend. Here yes. we go, it's in front of you. How he died by his artery. You told me that the prophet... Hmm. Yes. Hmm. And here it says, I, I feel as if my order has been cut from that poison. Hmm. From that poison. Hmm. But you have to prove to me that this is Allah. This description is exactly... Hmm. So you are saying to Allah, Allah, your promise is false and it's not coming true. Because this is exactly what you said will happen to Muhammad if he lie and he invent in our name. So you are saying to Allah, give me more proofs. Allah, he gave you the proof. He says, if he do that, we will do this. What I'm saying is prove to me that Muhammad alayhi salam lied. Ah, prove to me that Muhammad alayhi salam lied. Okay, that's very easy. Let us see this. When you're a prophet, he says that women, she have a sperm and her sperm is coming from her ribs. Is that a prophet of God or ribs prophet? Come from which ayah are you talking about? Are you talking about chapter 87? No. Which ayah are you talking about? 86. 86 verses 4 to 7, correct? Yeah. Al-Yandur, mm. Al-Yandur al-Insan. Mm. Kharaja min ma'in, uh, ma'in dafik. Mm. Yakhruja min bayni sulbi wa tara'ib. That verse? Mm. What verse are you referring to? Verse number 7, you just read it. Yes. 
Okay, what does it say? Read me your translation. My friend, don't tell me my translation. I'm no translator. It's you Muslims. This is your book. Tell me sure. what it says. Okay. 87. Hmm. I'll look it up just so I have. Sorry, 86. Here it is. Bismillah. Surah Tariq. Billahi min shaitan al-rajim. Uh, let me just go to the verse, sorry. Okay. Allah says about the person, mm. So let man observe from what he was created. He was created from a fluid ejected, mm. emerging from between the backbone and the ribs. I don't see what's wrong with this. Okay, what is the what is the ejaculation coming from between the backbone and the ribs according to your knowledge? Okay, so the word here, some people try to say that this is not the word of Allah because the Quran apparently says that semen comes from between the backbone and the ribs, mm. right? And I've heard this argument. That is not what the Quran says. What the Quran, the Quran says? says mm. The Quran says, Mimain dafiq, mm. from a fluid mm. ejected. Okay. And the word mani is present in the Quran, mm. right? It's present in Surah Al Insan. Mm. Um, so that's not the word here. So Allah says from a fluid ejected. Mm. I've studied this in quite detail. Mm. And if you actually look at where, what, what sperm is made out of from, from sperm is made out of fluid. Mm. And this fluid, where does the fluid come from? Do you know? No, I don't know. Tell me. It comes from the pelvis. From where? The pelvis, the seminal vesicle. What it is comes that? from the seminal vesicle, where, which where is, is that the pelvis. Located? Where is that located? The pelvis is exactly between the backbone of the ribs. Look it up. Mm. Google it right now, mm. pelvis. So the backbone is where the sperm of the man is coming from. The fluid in which sperm is made out of comes emerges from between the backbone and the ribs. Yes. The, the sperm coming from the from a bone. I didn't say the sperm. I said the fluid mm. that is made. The sperm is made out of. Okay, let me ask you: Is the human being created from the fluid or from the sperm? Both the the sperm is fluid. False, false. How how is that false? When we we talk about what is the one what what we call the thing which fertilizes the egg that thing what we call it. To be honest, I'm not a doctor. It's it's a sperm. It's uh, sperm. You know, I don't. I'm not a doctor too. I have uh, the only license I have is driver license. So that thing does it come from the bone? That thing, the one fertilizes the egg, does it come from the bone? Originally, all of that comes from the or at least a significant portion of that comes from the seminal vesicle, which is in the pelvis. I'm asking you a very specific question. Either you say it is from the bone or not. Is it come from the bone? Yes, it says the backbone. The backbone is the last bone in the spine, correct? I'm talking about. I, I, no, no, I'm not. I didn't say it comes from the backbone. I said yachrojimindain from between my, my friend, the backbone no and problem, the ribs. No problem. Okay. Ah, so you are saying, uh, my friend, uh, uh, you understand the Quran according to who? I understand the Quran according to the correct the correct understanding. I hope, right? And where we can and of find course, I'm not a human being. I can make is mistakes. That like, is that a, is that a scholar? Is that a prophet? Is that who? Who do I follow? Are you saying? Hmm. Yeah, no, no. I'm saying, according to who you are understanding this. By the way, do you know who I am? No, I do not know who you are. I don't care. I'm the I'm the person who you made a an hour and forty minute response to about their TED talk. About uh, I'm I'm Abdul Fatah Omar Abdul Fatah the TED talk that I gave two years ago, you made an hour and forty minute response to that. I don't remember. Anyway, go ahead. Re read for us this hadith in the screen, my friend. Oh, on the YouTube, the YouTube. Yeah. Let me see where that is. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. I I don't. I press play. I don't see the. I don't see the screen. Refresh. Refresh the page. So uh, the one about the uh, Um Sulaim. Hmm. Yeah, Um Sulaim asked the Messenger of Allah alayhi salam hmm. about a woman who sees in her dream something like that which a man sees. The Messenger of Allah says, hmm. alayhi salam, if he sees that and has a discharge, then let her perform a bath. Hmm. Um Salama said, Oh Messenger of Allah alayhi salam, does that really happen? He said, yes, the water of the man is thick and white and the water of the woman is thin and yellow. Mm -hmm. Whichever of them comes first or predominates, the child will, will resemble that okay. parent. Okay. Now, so the word ma, you said to me, what ma is not a semen. This is what you said to me, ma. But your prophet is saying clearly that this is what he believed is a creating the baby. Do you agree? He's the ma. He called it ma, correct? But what the Quran, does the Quran not say something different? I don't know. You tell me. Does the Quran say it's not ma? Does the Quran say ma or no? The Quran talks about the embryonic development and it uses a different word than ma. We will go there, but um, so the Quran is not using ma. So what what we saw in chapter eighty six, verse number seven and verse number six doesn't say ma in dafiq. 
It says eight in 86 okay. verse 7. It does my, say friend, my friend, does it say in the Quran? Let us go back a little bit. Does it say, don't the man know he is created from what? Does it say that or I'm making things up? It says, Thank you. So, so he is created just... from a gushing, fluid. gushing fluid. Is that correct? Gushing, strong fluid. A fluid ejected. That's what that's Thank the you. Ejected act. from where? From the fluid ejected. And then Allah says, No question. No, no problem, my friend. So, ejected from where to where? To be honest, I don't know, but okay. here it says, You're a prophet, here it says, my, my, friend, my, friend, my friend, your prophet, explain it. Here we go. The hadith says, A woman, she came to the prophet, she saw a dream. Obviously, she was playing with her, uh, you know, stuff. And she saw, How do you know that? How do you know that? Well, it says she, she had masturbation. Does it say she was masturbated? Is that what it says? Yes, yes. Show me that. Well, it says here, Umu Salim asked Allah Messenger about a woman who sees in her dream something like that a man sees. And the okay, man the said, listen carefully, and the man said, and Allah, the uh, Prophet said, if she sees that he, she has a discharge, then let her perform a bath. Um Salama said, O Messenger of Allah, does that really happen? He said, yes, the water of the man is thick and white. What is the water of the man thick and white? He's talking about this is the ejac ejaculation of the man. Yes. Okay. And the water of the woman is a thin and yellow. Correct. Okay, my friend, okay. you you made a claim that she was playing, she was masturbating. Well, Prove obviously, that okay, how woman she just discharge have orgasm? How would a woman she would have orgasm? Does the hadith not talk about a dream? It's a dream, is my it not? My friend, okay, so she is or she, does it doesn't mean she did not have orgasm yet, or she have orgasm yes. in the dream? Yes. Okay, so she is playing with herself in the dream. She is sleeping, touching herself. Hello. Oh. Okay, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. As a man, <laughs> you know. You know My that friend, you don't this is not, that, this is not the issue. You can play with it as you wish. No, she have orgasm. Yes or no? Why should I talk to you if you're like this? No, no, See, I'm not, because you're trying to change the topic. Did she have orgasm? No, no, no. Did she have orgasm? Yes or no? You made a claim. You yes. made a claim that the she was claim is so clear. How the women she would have orgasm? Do you have orgasm without doing anything? Absolutely. In a dream, yes. How is that? Are you serious? I don't no, think I'm serious. Yeah, how, how that will happen? You have orgasm how without people? so how how you uh, uh, listen you have orgasm just by the, just uh, seeing something in the so if you are watching uh, uh, something in the front of you you have orgasm without anything happening to your private part Akhi, this is not talking about being awake this is talking <laughs> about a dream how many people have had a wet dream without masturbating my friend my friend my friend my friend so she say it in the dream or not in the dream still she have orgasm do you agree or not she had an orgasm, yes. Okay. Now, or, or orgasm, there was there was orgasm the prophet saying the orgasm which come from the women is the one who make the baby look like the women. Did he say that or not? Okay, to be honest with you, I don't even want to talk about Daif Hadith with you. Like, why are we talking so about So, what we will do now if, if it's Daif, what we will do? Well, we don't base, we don't base uh, why, Sharia. Okay, why Daif Muslims hadith? have Daif Hadith? Why? Because the hadith are, are the product of men, okay. and men can make mistakes. So you are saying the the, the, the the book, Islamic books, the knowledge about Islam is full of stories, false stories. I'm not saying it's full of false stories. I'm saying are there potentially fabricated so hadith? are you yes. saying to me you will not believe in this unless it is Sahih hadith? Basically, yeah, we don't derive All right. this Sharia is a sahih, ruling from this, is, okay. this is a Sahih hadith. This is a Sahih hadith? Yes. Okay, can you send me the link for this one, please? Here we go. This is in um, what book is this in? Right. Okay. I what know. is it? I don't oh. know. You Muslims have tons of books. I don't know how to read. I'm looking in Maja. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's it's greater than Sahih by Dar es Salaam. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So now you said you believe in it, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do believe in so it. So now we believe in it. Thank you. A second ago, you said you believe in it. How how this has changed so fast? No, no, no. You said it was a Daif hadith, so I said any. I don't, don't argue you know, about that. You claim to be a Muslim who posts videos in YouTube. Don't you know that Daif hadith is accepted? Accepted for certain things. I also know that you ah, cannot. Die. So it's not accepted for orgasm stuff. No, no, Akhi, you're trying to make a claim. You're trying to attack the religion. <laughs> okay, let's not waste our time. So now, let us get the conclusion. Your prophet, he claimed that if the women have orgasm first and her water, 
the woman she can see in her private part as you see this is not something inside the womb no this is something this charge coming out now who in the world want to believe walk. that women she have this charge and that this charge is the reason for the baby to resemble the parent which is the women whichever of them come comes first or predominates comes first I don't know. it says comes first he described, you, he described yeah. the water he described the water of the man you, you are the one who agree remember i said to you yeah. the, the 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 prophet said that the water of the man is white and thick and the water yes. of the women is yellow and thin and i said to you is that the sperm you said yes so, yeah, and here it's referring to the sperm. Okay. I'm assuming. So do, we, do we even women have a sperm? And the water of a woman is thin and yellow. Yes. Do the women have a sperm? I don't know if sperm would be the right word to call it. Again, you're not speaking to a we doctor. You're just the one who says, no, your prophet decided that this is a sperm. He says that there's water ejaculate from the women and water ejaculate from the man. And that's what make the baby. I said man and deathic. My friend, yes, it's, it's ejaculation. When a, when a man have ejaculation, it is it, it is a strong water. And your prophet saying the women too. Here we go. He's saying he's the expert. And by the way, women she have a thin yellow, uh, no, uh, not, yeah, sexual liquid. No, that means she have. No, no, no. That means yeah. the women she have STD. This is why it is yellow. Women should not have yellow ejaculation. Otherwise, she is infected with sexual disease. Which means all the women Muhammad he step with, they have sexual disease. Do you want to get to the main point here? You're talking. Let's talk about God. The main point is. The main point is. Did Muhammad lie when he says that if the women she have ejaculation first, the baby will look like her, and this is the sperm of the women? Did he lie or he told the truth? When he was speaking here again, mm -hmm. if this is what the hadith says, and scholars say that this is a sahih hadith, mm -hmm. then I take it as truth. Okay, but is it? This is totally against what all scientists in the world they say. That women eject women they can get to carry a child without even have uh, uh, even eject. actually today is they can put even the sperm inside her uh, fertilize the egg without even inside her they take the egg out they fertilize it what what does have to do with the with the, with the look the look of the baby if he will be male or female is about you know uh, 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 the, the the male sperm decide who is the one or what he will be is it a male or female so the first thing will happen the DNA which is carried or the fertilizing of this the the, the, the sperm fertilizing the, the egg decide what the gender with the baby for the baby it's not doesn't well, matter who comes first so, so Muhammad well, lying secondly women this is not talking sperm. about gender no 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 this is not talking about gender this is no, talking about this is talking Kashmir. about gender okay here we go should, uh, should, should, should I show you that about gender? this is what does the hadith say it says the child will uh, resemble friend, that shall I show you this is about the gender do you want me to show you a proof that this is about the gender show me show me proof that this is about gender You attack hadith in the Quran like like the Bible that we have today is perfectly intact, but it certainly is not, and you know that it's not. My friend, let us see. Now, if let I show see. you, now, if see. I show you, if I show you that this is what your prophet said, this is about gender. What you will do? I have to analyze all the hadith and seek a, the proper understanding. That's what I would do. I'm not here. I'm a seeker of truth. That's all that I am, and I submit my will to the one Creator. That is what a Muslim is. Hmm. This is what a Muslim is. Okay, here we go. This is the hadith in the front of us, and this is the Muslim translation. A Jewish man, he came to the Prophet and he asked him how the child resembled his parents. The Prophet, he says, uh, and if the man discharged, proceed the women, then the child will resemble the father. But in Arabic, it says, read carefully, this is a Muslim translation. You speak Arabic, so you have no excuse. It says, وَإِذَا سَبَقَ مَاءُ الرَّجُلْ مَاءُ الْمَرْأَ نَزَعَ الْوَلَدْ وَإِذَا سَبَقَ مَاءُ الْمَرْأَ نَزَعَتْ What does that mean? Nazat. Uh, what does that mean? Then the child resembles the mother. Hmm. I'm reading the translation that you have on the screen. Yeah, well, I read, read the Arabic. Resemble the, how, how, how a child will resemble the mother? Like what? He will have a breast like her? He will have a, a private part like her? He no, but the mother, he will be a female. No, how, how do you how do you know that's your interpretation? Show me. Okay, give me your interpretation. 
Give me, give me the Arabic. I don't. Okay, I don't my see friend, give me, give me your interpretation, please. Can you give okay, me? Okay, well, I don't see the Arabic. I don't see the Arabic. I have okay, to look here at the we Arabic. go. Let me. Here we go. This is the Arabic. Did you send it to me or is it on the screen? Oh no, here we go. I will send it to you. No problem. Give me a second. Ma al marati naza, wa ila sabaka ma al marati nazat. So the word here is naza. Okay, right? let us make it simple. So, if this is was, if your prophet saying that the baby will be a boy if the man have orgasm first, and if the uh, if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. Is that will be that's your interpretation again? That's okay. your interpretation. If this is the correct interpretation, let's say assume if this is correct interpretation, are you are you agreeing that this is a big mistake? Well, to be honest with you, one thing I one thing I refrain from doing is making conclusive judgments until I have all. No, the okay, let us assume. No, no, let us say. Okay, I'm saying sure, this. Sure. Okay, I'm. A, sure. I, I am saying. You say this is my interpretation. If this is my interpretation, yeah. do you agree this will be a mistake? From Muhammad to do, say such. Do a I thing. agree that what? Do you agree that this is a very bad scientific mistake to say? Well, I would need you. I would need you to give me scientific articles that prove that it's a mistake. That's what I would need. Well, here we go. We can search in two seconds. It says that who is the one who decide the gender of the baby, and you will find that this is not true. And women sure. have orgasm have nothing to do with this. So you can go right now in and Google I, search yourself, and you can read for me. But you're okay. There's, this is based on many different things, such as me actually looking at these articles and coming to a, a conclusion about them. And two, actually, if your interpretation is correct. You have to prove to me that your interpretation is correct okay. first. So if the art, if if we find, uh, if we find a scientific study uh, saying that the baby gender, how, what, what cause it? What, what, it, what make it happen to be a boy or or, or uh, male or female? Yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. But not just one, because like there needs to be consensus. So we right? need to like, find like. We need to find like uh, maybe a hundred one to make it happen for you. No, what I'm saying, okay, let's be honest, my friend. Uh, Anytime we're talking about science and scientific consensus and the like, mm -hmm. we always need to take it with a grain of salt because scientific consensus changes. Mm -hmm. And if you've read Thomas Kuhn's book, mm -hmm. he talks about Tom paradigms. Thomas who? Thomas who? Thomas Kuhn. Peace upon him. He was a scholar, one of the most cited authors on the philosophy of science. Okay. He talks about basically how science goes through different paradigms. And mm -hmm. what that means is okay. that certain things that we perceive to be true today mm -hmm. um, may not be perceived as being true in the future. Right? So I take it with a grain of salt. I'm not dis disagreeing with science in any way, but I'm just saying that mm -hmm. even if all scientists agree on one thing today, it doesn't mean they always agree on something another time. And an example of that okay, is... Let me ask you. Let me, let's make it simple. According to the scientists you know, not the one I know, does the women orgasm, the water come out, have anything to do with the baby? I've never had that discussion with any scientist that I know, okay. so I can't. So you are saying to me, this is my interpretation, but the, 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 the hadith in the front of us saying that, right? No, no, the hadith says, Naza al walid. Okay, but what, 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 what does al walid mean? Naza. What does al walid mean? That's exactly what we have to figure out. I'm okay, looking at the other hadith, the other hadith says, that the the, the the he will resemble the 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 the, the parents the bent who comes right. first okay and so resemble, resemble, resembling when we say resembling the parents what does that mean it means it looks like okay it looks like the mother when a or child father. look like his mother is that a boy or a girl it could be it could be either no so problem so according to science when a child resembles the parents does it have anything to do with the yellow liquid the women she see in her vagina. According to science, I don't know. I haven't studied that part well, of this science. This is absolutely false. You keep saying to me, I do not know. I do not know. Now, I don't know. Okay. I, I, I'm not afraid to say I don't okay. know. Okay. If you're a prophet says that this is will make the baby a boy and you go and you search and you come with the conclusion. But my friend, you have to prove to me that that is what he said. You're using your interpretation here so, again. Okay. So if I, if I, if there is a way to prove it, does that mean Muhammad is a fraud? No, because I need to look at both. I need to look at both of them. And then if he made a mistake, mm -hmm. then that is a very serious consideration. But you need mm -hmm. to prove to me mm -hmm. that he did, in fact, make that mistake. Okay, I want you to read this hadith. Here we go. Okay. This is the hadith in Arabic. And the hadith in Arabic say clearly that the Prophet saying the following. And I will read and I will translate. And I want you to know what you, you translate to me, not, not me. Look at the screen, please. The YouTube one? Yeah, look at the screen. Do you see it? Hold on. Okay. Translate. Read and translate, 
Can you translate, please? Okay, can you send me, can you send me the... Before the I send it in, can you translate, please? Here, start from Ma or Rajul Abiyad. Go ahead, translate. No, no, can you, can you send me the... I will the, send you the link, no problem. Can you translate what you just read? You did it already, can you translate? I can read Arabic, but that doesn't mean I'm an Arabic scholar. Why so you I don't translate now? What happened? Just tell us what it says. No, no, because I don't want to make a mistake. My, my Arabic, what mistake? Arabic is, in front is not of you. my first language. This is in the in front of you. There's nothing will change. It's in the front of you as it is. Translate to us what it says. I can translate part of it. Translate what it says. That it's a, it's just that it would take you 30 seconds, not even 30, 10 seconds. Come on, translate it. You're telling me to do something in not my native language. My friend, what do you mean your native language? Are you to read it right now in Arabic? And you speak to me in English. So how come suddenly now this is not your native la language? I never said Arabic was my native language. So how, okay, you are re do you know how to read Arabic or you don't? I know how to read Arabic, okay. but that doesn't mean I now, can translate. Are it. you reading for me so you can answer me, yes or not? Okay, my friend, if you're in Canada or the States, you can probably read French or Spanish. My friend, this is not that. Text? Why you are playing games now? What happened? Suddenly you are in trouble. Does it say there that the, the, the man water is white and the women water is yellow? So if, the, if they meet together, if they meet together and the man, his orgasm came first, the water will be the man the, 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 before the, the woman is going to be a male by the will of Allah. And if the woman came first, the, 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 the child will be a female by the will of Allah. Does it say that or not? <laughs> Hmm. What is I, I I don't know how to translate al what it is that comes mean? first. This is why the other hadith says comes first, comes first. All of them says comes first. But the, the word sabaka is not present here. Sabaka My friend, means ala, ala, which means came first. Ala is higher. Ala it came first. Okay, okay, okay. See, that's the difference. There's a difference between higher and came first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let us say higher, higher, my friend. No problem, higher. So does it say that are you saying your prophet when he say things they are not consistent? In the other hadith, it says, if he comes first. So it, there he says it comes first. Here it says something else. Are you saying, your prophet, is, are you saying, your, are you saying your prophet is lying? No, I'm not saying that. Okay. Look, is, it look, friend, hadith, look. is it in this hadith? How about you let me speak? Is how about it, you let me speak? Is it in this hadith we just read? It says, if the women discharge, discharge, proceed that of the man. Does it say that or I'm lying? There's a different word used here. My friend, the does it say the, the Euro prophet says if the women discharge proceed of the man? What proceed of the man mean? It means comes first, right? Proceed in English means comes first, yes. Okay. So if your prophet is saying that here, are you saying that hadith there? Muhammad is contradicting his own statement, and both of them are sahih. And no. he, so obviously here he means too that comes first. Otherwise, you are saying that your prophet is a liar. No, the other hadith uses the word sabaka. Here it's the word ala. These are different. Doesn't matter. Words. Okay, as long as your prophet says in the other hadith he used the word sabaka, obviously that will confirm to you that this is what it means. Otherwise, there will be contradiction. If this one mm -hmm. does not mean sabaka, which mean mean first, that means Muhammad is saying different thing. Sabaka and ala have different meanings in Arabic. My friend, language. does it say that the baby will be a child, and both of them speak about how the baby resembles the parents? It's about male and female, yes or no? It talks about resembling. Okay, does it say male and female? Does it say male and female in front of you? Stop lying. It says many you will not resemble. You see, you, you are the one who says the word the word many is, is a sperm. Did you say that? Al Marat al Mani, yes. Okay. Uh, sorry. Now did your prophet says the women she have a sperm in this hadith? The word many is used, yes. I don't okay. know exactly so what he according was to science, do women have a sperm? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't, I don't know what science classifies it. <laughs> okay, listen, let us make it uh, 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 simple. If I explain it, you say Christian Prince is fabricating. If I... I'm not uh, saying you're I, fabricating. Okay, no, no, it's okay, I understand. Muslim trying to defend. What about me and you? We go and read the Islamic interpretation for the verse and whatever it says, both of us, we accept. What do you think? But the Islamic interpretations, there may be multiple interpretations. So which no one do we problem. go? No problem. You can choose any interpretation you want. What do you think? I'll, I'll research it myself. Okay, no problem. So are you going to come to me after 10 years to tell me, here we go, this is Ibn Kathir. And this is a very well-known scholar for the Muslim. Don't tell me now he's a Jew. And no. he is explaining to us how and what the Prophet is talking about. Here we go. 
خلق من ماء دافق. You see the screen, right? In one sec. You know what's funny? I actually scheduled an appointment with you on the 26th, and you didn't show up. You didn't show up. No notice, no nothing. And we were supposed to discuss my video. And now you're talking to me and constantly cutting me off. Stop crying. Stop crying. And people think that you're smart. People think you have all the right answers. I don't even remember who you are. Let's listen. Read. Stop. Stop crying. Does it say? I'm not crying. Okay. Read. See, how do you expect to have a discussion? Read. And your followers, I find it hilarious that your followers, your followers, it is hilarious that you are trying to manipulate and to lie and to lie. And here we go. Here, you're a scholar. I'm sure you will not read. Are you going to read or not? I will read. Okay, read it. Go ahead. Read on my phone. Okay, go ahead. Read, read. Why you don't read? I want to hear you. I'm, I'm reading. I'm pulling it up on my phone. Hmm. I have it for you on the screen. I want you to read. Amika Theo. Do you want to give you the link? Here we go. I will give you the link. No problem. Don't waste my time. There's a lot of Muslims who want to leave Islam today. Because of <laughs> you. Yes, because and of you. There's a lot of Christians. Everybody, there's a lot of Christians who are Islam in the at, at, Everybody is laughing at this Islamic science and medicine and crazy stuff. Here we go. This is your Ibn Kathir. I change to read if you are proud about the Quran, about your prophet, about your science. I am, Go ahead. I, I am proud. Okay. I don't understand why you're getting emotional. Then be brave. Then be, we're just be having a discussion. You're getting emotional Then here. be brave and start reading, emotion. please. Start from there. He created, he is created from water gushing forth. Start from there. Go ahead. Hmm. Okay. Meaning the sexual fluid that comes out bursting forth from the man and woman. Thus, the child is produced from both of them by the permission of Allah. Okay. That's what I have here. Continue. The continue. Here. This is the English translation that I'm reading. Yes, on my yes. Phone. Continue reading, please. Don't stop. You, the resource you sent me, QuranX.com. My friend, read, read. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. Meaning, continue, please. Okay, let me let me look at the series. I'm not going to go. I gave I'll, you the link. I gave you the link. You were reading a second ago. What's wrong with you? I was reading the English on my okay, phone. Okay, I, I gave reading. you the link. This is your Islamic website, QuranX.com. This is the one run by the D show from USA. Okay, let's hmm. see. Um, what happened? I gave you the link. It's very easy. Open the link. I read. Okay, right here. Um, okay, proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. Meaning, go ahead. I don't see it on the link that I'm looking at. My friend, it is in the link in the front of us in the screen, and I gave you the link. So it's the same link. What happened, Jibril? He whipped it off. Come on. It says, here we go, proceeding, يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ And this is Ibn Kathir, proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, continue, meaning... Hold on, I'm trying to find the actual... What actual? This is Ibn Kathir, and this is your Muslim translation, and this is your Muslim website, read it. Okay, hmm. I'm going to it right now. Translation. Why you don't read, my friend? What's wrong? I'm going to it right now. Okay, go read. I mean, why it's, do you need some fuel? Do you want some gas? What do you want? Read it. What happened? Give me a moment. I'm looking it up. Why are you so impatient? Why are you looking at it? It's in front of you. What do you mean Didn't looking Jesus it up? Teach us patience? What do you mean? What do you mean? No, you are trying your best. It's embarrassing. You got yourself busted. You are no, I didn't. You, 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 just humiliated. Okay. you just humiliated your God and you're a prophet and your dignity. So either you no, read I, or you I say, I'm a coward and I'm ashamed of it. Go read. Go ahead. You're putting words in my mouth. You're trying to make yourself read it. Then read, it. The then read it. Yeah. Subhanallah, and you're a grown man. Okay, read the it. Sexual that comes yeah, out. I'm a grown man, but man okay. Woman. Listen, can you? Are, you are the grown man. I'm not. Read it. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Really. The child is produced from both, both of them by the permission to Allah. Uh, due to this, Allah says, "Yakhruju min baini sulbi wa taraib," meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman, which is referring to her chest. Thank Shall you. Thank you. Problem. Thank you. Did he say that this is the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women? So we are talking about two water, water of the women and water of the man. So you wasted my time for the last hour lying, yes. going in no, circle, no, no, no. lying to me, saying this is not about the women. This is okay, not about friend, the etc. So listen, so the uh, women me... have a sperm coming from her ribs. Do you agree? Let me you? ask you a question. Don't this ask is... me a question. Does it say there that the women she have a sperm coming from her chest? Ibn Kathir is not a prophet. If oh, I want so to Ibn you Kathir Christian now scholars, is a stupid donkey. Can you say that? I, are, you willing to, are, you willing, are you willing to say to me? I showed you the hadith. The hadith confirmed that. No, no, this is, I'm telling you, his interpretation. I'm, my friend, I you my friend he is even quoting your prophet. What's wrong with you? And the word, do you know what, do you know what, do you know what the Ra'ib mean? 
Taraib, yes. the ribs. No, Taraib is the location of the necklace for the women only. It is the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. That's what Ibn Abbas is saying. Thank you very much. So now we have two donkeys. We have Ibn Kathir and Ibn Abbas. Thank you, guys. We have two donkeys. Ibn Abbas is the cousin of the Prophet. Is He is the one who Allah Prophet pray for him to be the Hibrul Ummah, the most scholar of the Ummah by the guidance of Allah. So how Ibn Abbas got it wrong? He's the Mufassir of the Quran, yes. Okay, how he got it okay. wrong? I'm not saying here. I'm not saying. I just gave you my... I gave you... No, I'm asking you. Said. Okay, as long as you don't agree with them, did Ibn Abbas I'm not, saying, I'm not saying I don't agree with them. I'm okay, not saying I don't so agree with it says then from a tribe and tribe is the location of the necklace of the women. What kind of a prophet he say that women they have a sperm and coming from the location of the necklace in their chest? Talks about the, the ma in dafik as I said, Okay. These are verses, my friend. Look, there's there's some verses in the Quran mm. that we don't fully understand exactly mm. what their what the true interpretation uh -huh. is. So they are not understood. Even the Prophet he explained many hadith. Even we show you all the hadith. Even you're, we show you. You didn't show me. You showed, you didn't show you me decisive. Showed, you didn't no, show I showed decisive. you. I showed you your Prophet. He described exactly, and this is Ibn Kathir quoting the hadith of the Prophet. Helping him to explain the boat Muhammad is uh, uh, the prophet uh, uh, of Islam saying according to Ibn Kathir saying exactly the same hadith I quote for you So okay, okay, so here it says and this is the Quran I, In the beginning I said to you is that the water from the men and the women? You said to me this is about from the backbone between the backbone and the ribs and you claim that this is from the man alone But here it says meaning sexual fluid comes Rest forth from the man and the women and the child will pro pro proceed from both of them by permission of Allah from between the backbone and the ribs meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women and this is, is absolutely this, a false news that's me Muhammad is a false prophet and look here no, it says, is this not the science not tell us that both all right hold on Muhammad he claimed that the one who created the baby is a sexual fluid which is fine and yellow is that correct or this is a lie? The one that creates the baby from, from the women, the yellow. women, the part of the women is the sharing of the women is a sexual fluid. Which Muhammad, I ask you about the women, she have orgasm, and you said to me she did not touch herself, but it is an orgasm. We agree about that, me and you. So, is the orgasm oh, is is the liquid which the women she see in her private part if she get horny? Is that the one will cause the baby to be who he is? Muhammad saying yes, and he described it as yellow and fine in texture, but the women doesn't. This is not have nothing to do with the baby. The women she produced the, the egg, and the egg is not in her vagina, and it's not a sexual fluid, and it's not yellow. Okay, my friend, why don't you show me? Let's let's first decide what science actually says about this matter decisively before we start debating <laughs> what the Quran says. Well, because I'm not just going to take what, what you say. Your, what is your education, my friend? I'm not. I, I alhamdulillah, I'm fair. I'm a fairly educated person. What, I would what, say. So, what is your education? You don't need to know my education. So, are you saying to teacher. me this? I'm asking you because you are trying. Let us see, as if you never heard how the baby is made. I have heard, but to okay. get to the point according where according to the education you have, according to the education you have. Did anyone taught you that women have a sperm and it's yellow? We, we know that women have discharge, for example, and women but, but do emit some but sort it's of not a sperm. And you agree that the hadith says that the prophet says women, she have many, many you will marah, correct? Yes, that okay. word is present, yes. And the word many is a sperm, so Muhammad is lying. That's not, no, you can't say that because there's some words in the Arabic and you know this as well, they have multiple <laughs> meanings. You are the one who says to me, when I say to you, this is a sperm, you are the one who says to me, the word the sperm is many, and it doesn't say that. So now I show it to you, the prophet saying the word many, suddenly now it has many meaning. You see the hypocrisy? No, 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 no. What it's recorded, you it's recorded. Everything you said to me is recorded, is documented. You are famous, man. It is friend. documented. What's your name again? All you're doing, look, what was look your I'm name? trying what to was speak, you? and you're just bombarding me. You're what bombarding was, me. Be a man, let me speak. What was, man, what was your name? Be a man, let me speak. Hold on, what was your name? Be a man, let me speak. What was your name? Be a man, let me speak. My name is Omar Abdul Fattah, and you Omar can look Abdul up my Fattah. Fattah. Guys, this guy, his name is Omar Abdul Fattah. He entered history by debating Christian prince. He proved Anybody Allah wants to uh, see my TED talk, watch and it on Muhammad YouTube. Muhammad is a false prophet. 
Now, why you lie to me? How about, we talk, how about we talk about Jesus, alayhi salam? Let's talk about okay, the truth so, here. So do you agree? Okay, okay, listen. Let us go back to zero. You said to me, where the prophet did lie. Do you agree that the prophet lied? Yes or no? I don't agree that he lied, no. So how he say this? Where's the lie? Well, does the sperm of the man come from the backbone? Does the sperm of the man come from the backbone? Yes. The, the ayah says, min ma in dafik, from a fluid ejected emerging from between the backbone and the ribs. That's yes. what the ayah says. And the backbone of the man. That's what it says, yeah. Okay, so is that correct or it's a lie? About sperm coming from the backbone? Yes. It doesn't say that sperm comes from the backbone. It, it says, says that. that. It says. It says a fluid ejected comes from the backbone. Uh, are you reading in front of your eyes? Are you blind? I'm reading the Arabic. Uh, read, 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 read what it says. Is, read, read, read. This is your Islamic website, not my website. Does it say, and you, you just read it already. What's wrong with you? A second ago. It says yeah, yeah. the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Does it say that or I'm making things up? I'm reading it here. It says that here, yes. Okay, so when you Muslims believe that the backbone here where the sperm is coming from, so what testicle for? The testicle is not a storage facility for, for the sperm. Mm -hmm. Is that not what it is? What is the testicle? I don't know. You tell me. Is that like a... Like I, again, land? I'm not a doctor. Is, I am not is a it, doctor. Is it, is this it, is just based off my research. Maybe men, they put it for decoration. Do you want to have a serious discussion or are you, you are telling me you are having a serious discussion? How in the world you believe that this is God speaking, saying that a man have a sperm and women have a sperm? The man is sperm coming from the backbone of the man, which is the last bone in the spine of the man, which is so stupid to say. And then the women she have okay. a sperm, and the sperm of the women is coming from the location of the necklace of her ribs. How that okay, let, me speak, discussion? let me speak about the first one. Let me speak about the first one, right? Mm -hmm. You want an answer for the first one? Let me speak about the first one. Go ahead. Based upon my research, mm -hmm. Matt Defik from a fluid ejected. I looked up, mm -hmm. and you can you can you can Google this yourself. I looked up where, like first of all, what is sperm made out of? Sperm is made out of a fluid. Mm -hmm. Where does this fluid come from? Mm -hmm. It comes from the seminal vesicle, mm -hmm. and the seminal vesicle is in the pelvis, mm -hmm. and the pelvis is located at the end of the backbone. That's the pelvis. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> this is your search give me the link uh, which you are calling search we will put in the screen everybody will laugh at you okay here we go okay is that uh, an article written by Muhammadan is that an article written by Muhammadan I'm asking you no it is not okay so you said that you confirm that the article is you are going to give me it says the sperm coming from the backbone, correct? I said it comes from the pelvis, like the fluid comes from the pelvis. This is the, this is the question. Is it the backbone? That thing, the, the name, I don't know how to say it. Actually, it's hard word for me to say. Is that thing you say, is it in the backbone? It's between the backbone and the ribs. Uh, here we go. Is. But the Quran says that it's coming from the backbone of the man. The word it's between, attached. Abdul, listen, the word between is about between the male and the female. It's not about between here and there. You, my friend, you asked me. You asked me to talk about the first part, which is what yes, I'm talking about. Yes, the first part and the second part. The first part. Let's finish the it first says, part. Let's it the says first part the backbone of the man. The backbone of the man. Does it say that? And the word between is between the woman and the man. Okay. Hmm. It's not between well, the same body of the human being. It's between two bodies, two human, two creatures. The man sperm coming from the back from the backbone. And the women is sperm coming from the location of the necklace at Taroy. Okay, I'm gonna send you the link about some of us here. Mm. Okay. But this is when this not is where the bulk of the semen comes from, about 70% to be exact. My friend. And you can look up where the seminal vesicle is. Okay, give me the link so we can laugh. Because the link you will give me, I assure you, is going to get your busted. Give it to me. Go ahead. There we go. This is a website about STD checks, but it's All the right. first one that I could find. What the semen is made and where it's coming from. All right. Go down, go down to the section about seminal vesicle. Mm -hmm. Let's hold on. Where is he, where is he man coming from? Oh, okay. uh, they have a banana for you here, and they have you have nice pictures there. And he's talking about taste. Okay, seminal vesicles. Let us search in seminal seminal vesicles. Where are those? Read what it says first. Read what it says. Okay, is it a bone? The seminal vesicles. Is no, they're vesicles. Is it, is it a bone? Read what it says. Okay, is it a bone? Read, you read, read for me. Is it a bone? Okay, guys, this gonna, is here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
This is where the this this is a this is the images made by the actors, and I'm going to show you where they are. Do they look for you? They are located in the backbone. Remember, you are the one who said to me, it, this is where the, the, the semen coming from. Here we go. This is an image in Google. I have nothing to do with it. Is that in the backbone, my friend? Let me. It's in the pelvis. You cannot see my the My friend, bone. is that, here we go, the image in the front of you, not to, not to waste my time. This is the bladder, and it's next to it exactly. The seminal vesicle, yes. Yes. So is that the backbone? Look at the backbone. It's between the backbone and My the ribs. My friend, it says it from the backbone. The, the sperm of the man came in from the backbone, next, not, not, not near to it. This The human body, all of its few, few inches, what is left? What do you mean next to it? I mean, everything we have is in either in stomach, our belly, our, our chest. Human being is not a dinosaur. So if, if you say to me, it's coming from the, from, from the backbone, it's mean the backbone. And this is the backbone. The backbones are very small, and this is the last one, which is considered the backbone, which Muhammad is speaking about. Here we go. Let us show it to everybody so everybody can laugh. Here we go. This is the backbone Muhammad is speaking of. Do you see it? Seminal vessel. Yeah, I don't. I don't see the issue here. Like it's up. It's towards the, the back. Issue it's is the prophet said Jesus. that this is the backbone, and this is where the sperm is coming from. Look, Christian Prince. It does not say. I don't even want to call you that. It doesn't even say in the back one. It says, Bain yes. Between okay, the hold on. Let us read again. You see, maybe one of us is a slow, either you or me. Maybe me. I don't know. I don't, don't want to insult you. Here we go. Let us go back and read it slowly, my friend. Here we go. It doesn't say, right. Does it say the backbone of the man? From the backbone of the man. Does it say that? That's Ibn Abbas. That's what the tafsir says. Yes. Okay. So why the Muslims agree that this is what it's meant? Do you think their Arabic is funny and the scholars are not the scholars? Why Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet? I'm not saying the scholars are not okay. scholars. I'm the, not saying Arabic. The, the cousin of your prophet, do he speak perfect Arabic? Yes. Okay. Do we have a perfect understanding of the Quran? Do we have a perfect understanding of the no, Quran? No, Ibn Abbas specifically. He may he may have a good understanding, maybe not. Okay, a, let me I ask you now. If we bring about Ibn Abbas and he sit in my place, and Ibn Abbas is saying to you, "This is the backbone of the man," are you going to say to him, "You have a wrong understanding"? No, I'm not. Okay, so Ibn Abbas must be now the right. So you are the one who caught for me, Ibn Abbas, and this is Ibn Kathir, and both of them agree that this is the backbone of the man, and the backbone, sure, the and the bone, and the bone of the man, man proceed and give no sperm. It's a false. So Muhammad. He's a liar. Secondly, the women. I still don't agree with that interpretation. I don't know where you're getting that from. You are the Don't one who caught for me, Ibn Abbas, and you just told me, Ibn Abbas, you will not tell him that you are wrong. Did you say that? Meaning the backbone or loins of the man. Yes. That's what okay. the says. So Ibn Abbas is not wrong either. That's mean you are wrong. So Ibn Abbas is right. It's the backbone of the man. So it does not say between the backbone of the man and the ribs of the man, which you're trying to make it look like by lying. It says the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Now, this is number one is a lie. Number two, do women have sperm? I didn't lie. That was my inter that was my interpretation. I'm okay, but you get yourself knowledge. busted because at the end of the day, the correct one and you agree is Ibn Abbas, not you. Okay, but that still doesn't prove make make that is no. This is prove proof. Right. That's it. We got it now. And you are the one who gave me the image. You gave me the article, and you helped me. You gave me a hand to prove Muhammad and to get him busted. Now. The second that one, the, right. I don't the, know second, how you the second one, right. yes, we showed you the image where is the location. It's not the, it's not the backbone, period. It's not Look even a bone. It's not even close Look to the bones. The it's in the middle of the body of the human being. How that can be in the bone? Where is the now, backbone? Listen. Where is now, the back? Where is the back? Listen, the, we showed it to you on the screen. The backbone is far away from it. The backbone where is, is the a small, end of the back. The backbone is a small, tiny bone. Stop lying. And now, does it say that the I'm women? Not. Does it say that the fluid, the sexual fluid, coming from the ribs of the women? Yes or no? The sexual fluid coming from the ribs of the women. Yeah. Where are you getting that from? It's in the front of you. In which which link? You've sent me a lot of links. Aren't you the one who said to me Ibn Abbas said that? The backbone of the ribs and the ribs of the woman. Yes. Okay. So what? what so why you are saying to me why it says that? So Ibn Abbas, your best scholar, and you are the one who quoting for me. I'm quoting you for Ibn Kathir. You are quoting Ibn Abbas. That's wonderful. Both of them they agree that. Sperm of women is coming from the ribs of the women, which is the tarab, which is the location of the necklace. Now, I want to ask you, do you really believe that from the location of the necklace, women, she have a sperm coming there? 
the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman, which is referring to her chest. Hmm. It says her chest. Hmm. This is the link that you sent me. It's referring no, no, to problem, no problem. So do you believe that it's coming? It says ribs, ribs, it's ribs, and not only ribs. The ribs here is the location of the nucleus. I can show you a reference from Islam from Islamic books that the word tribe means specifically the location where the two bones in the top of the ribs meet together. This is what Which the is the chest. Yes, it's the chest. Which is not in the top side of the chest, the last bone of the chest before it touched the neck. This is where the tribe is. I can show you the proof right now if you want. Man and the ribs of the woman. Mm. I don't understand why we're talking. We're arguing about these these little things when this is not little things. He asked me, "Did Muhammad lie?" I said to you, "Yes." You, sh you said, "Show me the proof," and this is why we came to here. Prove to me that Jesus is God. You see, here we go. If Jesus is God, because He sent me to save you from the cult of Muhammad. Here we go. I got you busted. I got that's your prophet busted. That's not. That's so, a you, statement. so now you agree that Muhammad is a scam, do you? No, I don't agree with that. Answer, do you believe that women have a sperm and their sperm is coming from the upper side of their chest? Yes or no? I have to look before I can make conclusive So statements. why you call me if you are a person who have to look? You call a Christian prince to challenge a Christian prince to debate a Christian prince, but you have to look. Did you look around you before you call me? Of course I did. You did were you saying, did, did, did you look, did you look under you your knees right, right now? now? Are you wet? What? Are you sweating wet? No, I'm not. So why you are saying happy. I have to look? Give me the answer. You are the Muslim who says supposedly he want to debate me. I am. I am. His name is my Farouk. Whatever. Blah 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 blah. So why now you need to look? Look. I go. So what we are doing in the last hour? Aren't you looking? I have a challenge for you, my friend. How about this? Friend, How about this? I don't I have a challenge me. I don't challenge me. Don't challenge me. I'm here. You can to prove to me. You can prove to me that the Quran is the word. You can prove to me that the Quran is false. If this, if you doubt that the Quran is the word of God, <laughs> then produce a chapter like it. Are you sure? Let me call upon four witnesses. Let's see what okay, happens. Okay, so you are trying to change the topic, and now you give up. Okay, let me, let me prove to you. Let me prove to you that the Quran is not the book of God, and I'll get you busted in two seconds. Are you ready? Prove to me. I know. I'm telling you, make something like it. If you think that Muhammad okay. wrote it, hold on, write it hold on. Like you speak okay, Arabic, hold, on hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you saying nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Muhammad? Yes, absolutely. I'm saying that. So how you explain to me this hadith that Allah He took the Quran from Omar? Which hadith? Where is it? Which hadith? It says in the front of you. Okay, I'm going to YouTube. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So what? Okay. How Allah copied uh, the Quran of Omar? Omar, he says something. Allah, he take it. He make a Quran. Mother of the Most Gracious, so the divine verses of Al Hijab were revealed. I came to know that the Prophet ﷺ uh, has entered upon him and said, "You should either stop, or else Allah will give his apostles better wives than you." When I came to one of his wives, she said to me, "Omar, is Allah's apostle hmm. love wives." Because Allah's Apostle Ali Salam had it, which he could advise his wives with, that you try to advise him thereupon. Allah revealed that maybe if he divorced you, Allah will. Mm. So just because he took, he listened to Omar, doesn't mean that Omar wrote it. Hold on. It says the verses came as I said. Where does it say that? Here we go. As I said. Yeah. What's the Arabic word? <laughs> <laughs> what the Arabic for it? Does it say as I said, yes or no? Maybe thereupon Allah revealed. I see the bottom of it. It says thereupon Allah revealed. It may be if he divorced all, if he divorced you all, his Lord will give him instead of you wives better than you Muslims who submit to Allah. That's what I'm reading. Okay, so who is the God of Islam? Is that Omar or Allah? It's how the one Allah, God of how God. Allah is copying Omar? Statement and you just said to me make Quran like Quran like the Quran make Quran. I challenge you what Quran is a stupid book I'm telling you okay if, if you think that you can easily write it do my it. friend if, I, right if, if, I right make, I, if I make for you a verse now you will say to me uh, This is funny. You will laugh correct. We make me a surah. Make we me a surah the game. Like I can make for you tons of surahs Here make we go. Me a surah right now. What, what's your Call name? What's your name? Verses, and let's see what what is your name? What is your name? Omar Abdul Fattah Omar Abdul Fattah عبد الفتاح يأكل التفاح وبيده مفتاح وقال باح باح وأتى جبريل وأتانا بالعصير وقال لنا لقل قال قيل وأتانا بقوم مساطيل فقلنا له هذا حجارة من من جزيل من نرميها على المساطيل I mean this is stupid what is the that's hilarious that is that's I know hilarious. this is hilarious so that the Quran is, hilarious. is a hilarious book and this is what we are showing you that Muhammad in the Quran which you are saying it's amazing Saying that the sperm of the women coming from the backbone of the man, and you are saying to me, Can you make stupid things like this? 
I'm telling you to make a chapter like the Quran. Torah chapter three verses. But we showed you this is a like stupid. This is stupid. What's what chapter of the Quran? And I just showed you that Omar is the one who is making Quran, and Muhammad he take what Omar says to him and he recite it and he make it Quran. Omar me, did not make the Quran. Let me ask you. No, no. It. it says the same as I said. Actually, there's a different hadith says that there's more than ten things Allah he took from Omar. Let me ask you. Have you ever heard of the Quran saying that Allah said, not Muhammad supposedly, that Allah is the best of the creators? Yes. Okay. Who is the one who said that verse? Allahu Khairun. Yeah, he's he's the one who's he's the best of creators. Who is the one who said that verse? Allah is. What if I show you it's not true? Everything that is in the Quran is from Allah. My friend, what if I show you from your Islamic books that the one who said that his name is Abdullah ibn Sarah? So you're telling me that there's a statement of a human being that made it into the Quran without Wahi. Exactly, and this is why this is this is the brother of of uh, of uh, uh, the Caliphate Uthman ibn Affan. He was the inscribe of your Prophet, and he was listening to Muhammad. And Muhammad he said that we made the baby in the following way. And by the way, this is a great mistake again. Where Muhammad he said that the sperm transform into a congealed dead blood. <laughs> okay, prove to me it's wrong. Give me a give me a source. Hold on, hold on, before we change. Wrong. And then Abdullah ibn Sarah he says, So please be Allah, the best of the creators. Muhammad he said to him, write it there as it is. But the guy he said to him, But it came to me. He said to he, he said to him, and this is how it Muhammad said to him, and this is how it came to me too. So the guy so Abdullah no problem. Ibn What's Sarah, the with that? Okay, what do you mean what's wrong with that? Abdullah ibn Sarah immediately he left Islam. He said, if Muhammad is a prophet, then why he is taking what I said and making it Quran? And this is in your books, and this is your he information, said, and this is in your tafsir, and this is documented by you. And the guy he left Islam and he decided to be not a Muslim because Muhammad is a fraud, because he is the one okay, who said that. Prove it to and, me. Show okay. me. Show me this hadith. Prove it to me. Show me what? Show me this hadith that you're referring to. All right, here we go. Story. All right. And prove to me the guy left Islam. All right. So if I show you what you will do, I want to, I want to, I want to look at it. I'm just going to accept your words for it because you've already made some false interpretations. So I I'm never gonna... said something. I did not prove it. Yeah, you did. You're talking Which about, one? you're talking about gender. You're talking about how <laughs> the sperm influences the gender. I, pro I prove it. I prove it. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did. That was your interpretation. It's recorded. Everybody will listen and will laugh. Sure. Sure. Okay. We'll see. So we will see if this is true or not. All right. Let us see. How we can find you the reference about this issue and you talk like like the book that you read is free of is free of errors don't change the topic don't, don't, don't play potato tomato game you are the I'm hero not, not playing, and you not call playing, me and you call me to get me busted everybody is laughing at you and your prophet you could not answer yeah anything. your followers who are your followers the video, see, that video that you made, the video that you made about me had less than a thousand views. My video has 136,000 views. I don't, I don't even talking. know who you are. You are no one. Keep talking. Keep talking. You are no Keep one. Talking. Uh, okay. I'm going to put my name in the comments just so people can read. All right. But you're because yeah, you should be proud about yourself now. I am proud of myself. Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> I find it hilarious that these people hold on, hold on. follow you and describe you. you. Okay, listen. If you follow Jesus, then you would do what he said. Exactly. And, 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 Jesus, and, and, Jesus said, and Jesus said to the hypocrite, to the liar, you are the same as your father, the devil. Prove to me Jesus said that. <laughs> Prove to me you said that. <laughs> You're laughing. Prove to me you said yeah, that. I'm laughing. Yeah. I'm laughing at what you just saying. Okay, let us read here. Let us see. Here we go, and we will find, and I will show you. And you read in Arabic, and I change you to translate, and everybody will laugh at you. At what? At, at what you will say to us? Your translation, not my translation. Sure. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Let us go here. My screen frozen, but give me a second. Have you ever heard of this verse? Which one? Chapter 6, verse number 93. Chapter 6, verse number 93. 
There's 28, right? 23. Sorry, 23. Uh, sorry, 93. Chapter 6, verse number 93. What this verse is about, do you know? Yes. Okay, what is it? Min ash -rajim. ولو ترى إن الظالمون في غمر غمرات الموت والملائكة تباسطوا أيديهم أخرجوا أنفسكم اليوم تجزون عن عذاب العذاب الهون You don't even know how to read it You don't even know how to read it Let me read it for you You want to read it for you better than you're reading you idiot Is that how you sing the Quran? Listen how you sing the Quran ومن أزلم من أفتى على الله كذبا أو قال أوحي إلي وما أوحي إليه شيء ومن قال سؤني بلوما أي دم أي دم أي دم playing around no answer doesn't say doesn't say doesn't say that there's a guy he said that it is he is inventing the Quran and what he have is what is given to me does it say that yes okay who is this guy who said that and Muhammad is talking about I don't know you don't know so Christian prince, no. Me this hadith, so, I don't Christian, know. so Christian prince, he prince, he know, and you do not know. Well, it seems like you spend a lot of time just trying to attack Muslims and Islam. Ah, a lot of time. That's amazing. So you did not spend a lot of time reading your religion. I did, but you're asking me. So to how talk come about you do not know? Why, why you are? Why you? Why you do not know? Let me ask you a question. Don't ask you me a question. Why you do not in the Bible know? And it's you meaning? are you are saying you do not know who is the yeah, one? Yeah, I know what Allah. I know the knowledge that okay. Allah has given so me. I'm humble is, enough to do All right, that. who is the one? What's your question? <laughs> Relax, camera. You're in time. Drink, sleep, breathe, and now. Let us. You know what? You are just a kid. You're not worth it. Here we go. This is Al Qur'an. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not going to waste my we'll time. See, we'll see. We'll see. What keep he talking, said. Keep talking. Okay, read with me. Read with me. Does it say yes. that this is about Abdullah ibn Sarah wartadda an al-Islam and this is tafsir al-Qurtubi and this is the official government of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia let me show you the website okay, oh, okay. okay. does it say Quran KSU education SA does it say that this is the screen that you have on the YouTube okay yes. let me say hmm. I'm reloading the page do you see the website do you confirm that this website is the government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia? It looks like it's a government website. Okay, looks like it, looks like it. Okay, now this is Tafsir Al-Qurtubi. It says here, Surah Al-An'am, Ayah 93, verse number 93, correct? And now let us see what it says here. If we go down, we will find... It is speaking about a person who left Islam because he discovered that Muhammad is a fraud. Read carefully with me. I want you to read and you translate for us because your Arabic is better than me. You can sing it too. Sing it. Sing this one for me. Sing it. Go ahead. Sing They're it. Funny. Sing it. Sing this one for us. Sing it. Sing it about a guy who said Muhammad is a fraud and he is the ins the inscribe of the prophet. He was writing Quran for him and Muhammad he took from him whatever he say and he put it in the Quran. Read it. Go ahead. He took from him whatever he says. Let us say, yeah, he took he, the guy he says, Fatabarakallahu Ahsanu Khaliqeen. For Muhammad, he took it, he put it in the Quran. Okay, that's one instance. Let's one, go back to the verse that you thank said. Thank you, just, thank you, guys. This is one instant. He just agreed that there's one instant. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. You just said that. He just agreed that there's one instant where the Prophet was stealing from a guy. His name is Abdullah ibn Sarah, and he is the brother of the Caliphate of the Islam of Uthman. This is that's the not what the hadith says. Be honest, be honest. That's not what the hadith says. Read it. You the says, okay, read it. Read it. The hadith says, read it. and you said it. I'm quoting you. I'm quoting you. Read, you it. Said, read it. I'm quoting you. Listen read, to me. Read you it. said that this is also how it was revealed to me. Hmm. How was that stealing? What, what? what? You said okay, that hold one. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Read, read carefully. It says, uh, it says here that, uh, the, 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 it says here, and Abdullah ibn Sarah, Abi Sarah, الذي كان يكتب الوحيد رسول الله. It says that Abdullah ibn Sarah is a person who yes. was writing the, the Quran for Allah, Prophet. The revelation, right? yes. Okay, yes. now, then he continues, says, and then he became an apostate, and he followed yes. the mushrikeen. Does it say that? Yes. Okay. Yes. And the reason for that, listen carefully, and وَسَبَبُ ذَلِكَ فِيمَا ذَكَرَ مُفَسِّرُونَ أَنَّهُ لَمَّا نَزِلَتْ الْآيَةِ And the reason for that, when the, uh, the, the ayah came, which is saying, 
the the chapter of the Mu'minun. وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ سُلَالَةٍ مِنْ طِينٍ when, when the Prophet, he said, and we created the human being from uh, uh, like a kind of uh, of mud. And da'ahu Nabiullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fa'amlaha alayhi. The Prophet of Allah, he asked him to come and write it and he recited for him. So he will write it down. فَلَمَّا انْتَهَى مِنْ قَوْلِهِ And when the Prophet finished reading it or reciting it, so, and then he says, ثُمَّ أَنْشَأْنَاهُ خَلْقًا آخَرًا and then the Prophet, he says, and we create in him an additional creation or a new creation. So uh, Abdullah, he was like, wow, that's amazing how the human being is created. This is new for me. And then he said, he said, Abdullah, he said, Who said that? Abdullah ibn Sarah. And then Muhammad said to him, فَقَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ وَهَكَذَا أُنْزِلَتْ عَلَيْهِ فَشَكَّ عَبْدُ اللَّهُ حِينَ إِذِنْ وَقَالْ لَإِنْ كَانَ مُحَمَّدًا صَادِقًا لَقَدْ أُوحِيَ إِلَيَّ كَمَا أُوحِيَ إِلَيْهِ Let us translate. And then, when uh, Abdullah ibn Sarah, he says, Blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. The Prophet, he said to him, Oh, this is how it came to me too, which me write it down. And then the guy, he became suspicious about Muhammad being a false prophet. And then he said to himself, in Kana Muhammad Sadiq, and if Muhammad was a truthful, well, I am a prophet too because I, I was inspired as he was inspired. And if he's a liar, he said, As I said, <laughs> and then it says, and then he became an apostate, which means he confirmed that Muhammad is a liar. Is that true or not, my friend? If you're reading it, and what source, where does that come from? What's wrong with you? What book? What book? I showed you the website. Like... I showed you the name of the book. I showed you the number of the verse. And now you are asking me, are you in trouble? No, no, I'm asking you. I said you those information me? already for you. I said Al-Qurtubi. What's wrong with you? Okay, okay. Al-Qurtubi. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Keep reading, please. That's it. The guy, he left Islam. And this is what he okay. said. And if you want to continue, no problem. Here we go. Does the hadith not okay, say? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And this is reported by Al-Kalbi and Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas, your, your, your favorite scholar, is the one who reported that. Okay, okay. Okay. So the, it seems here that the guy said he was a prophet, did he not? No, he's saying if Muhammad is a prophet and he received Quran, will I receive Quran too? Because I am the one who said that first. Okay, so that's where the problem is. It's not the problem that Muhammad confirmed it. The problem is that the guy said he was a prophet. The problem, he said, the Quran and Muhammad take the Quran from him and put it in his book. This is the problem. Are you playing no. slow now? Are you playing dump? No, no. The Hadith says, "Kadalika like in the meaning." My friend, who is the one? Who is the me. one? Who is the one who said first? Tabarak Allah, Ahsanul Khaliqin. Who is the one who said that sentence first? Muhammad. It came out of him first. Yes, he said from, it first. From him, who? Give me the name. Abdullah. Okay. Are you the one who says to me, make Quran like a Quran? Yes. Okay. I said, How Allah, a like why, I said Allah, a why Allah taking the Quran from the, this guy, which obviously is a bad guy because he left Islam, brother. No, he didn't take the Quran from him. Well, the Quran was he revealed. Is the like one who said, but he is the one who said the sentence. Aren't you amazed? He's the one who said it first, okay. yeah. if, if I asked you now, if I say, Allahu ahsanul khaliqin, you asked me to make Quran like the Quran. If I say to you, Allahu ahsanul khaliqin, are you going to say this is amazing? No, because you, you said it afterwards. Ah, thank you very much. So the one yes. who said it afterwards is not making an amazing job. You got yourself busted. Go I mean, I and take a You are the one who said that. The one who said it afterward is a liar. So Okay, I, let's go back. No, 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 no. no. You, you know, you, you, the, 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 it's, 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 it's gone. It's, you, you, you just... You, no, 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 no. You I'm going to answer that. You just, you. Put a nail, answer you. you just put a nail in the coffin of your religion. You said, no, 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 if no, no, I no. say that, it is not valid because you said it afterward. But Muhammad but is the answer? one... Are you going to give me a chance to answer? But you you think Muhammad is the one who said that afterward? Are you going to give me a chance to talk or are you right. even talking over we, me? We, we, we're done. We're talking about what? We're not done. No, no, no. <laughs> the Quran doesn't say produce an ayah like it. It says produce a chapter like it. Uh -huh. And the fact that it was also revealed uh -huh. to Sayyidina Muhammad uh -huh. alayhi salam, so I don't are you, know. Okay, hold on, you? hold on, hold on. So are you saying that the Quran saying that we can produce verses like it, but we cannot produce chapter? I'm telling you the challenge to humanity is to produce a chapter like it. <laughs> That is the chapter. <laughs> That's the challenge. Take care, Abdul. Take care. We smoke you and we love you boneless. Boneless.
everybody download this video post it everywhere by the way already it's saved so they cannot even take it down do you see how we get them busted produce a chapter what about produce the whole book and if I produce a book like it you would say it's not good anyway I mean look who's talking if I make a book right now the Quran is a stupid book even the Arab in the time of Muhammad they say to him this is the fairy tale if we like if we want we can produce the like it here we go the Quran says that the Muslim they say the Arab they were amazed the brother how amazing the Quran are you sure is that why Muhammad took him all those years to kill them so to to come to come to, to force them to convert this is the Quran and this is the Arab saying to Muhammad huh, we heard thing, those things before if we like if we want we could like the same but this is stupid this is nothing but fairy tales stupid stories so the Arab they were not amazed of the Quran as they claim the Quran is a stupid book will not make me amazed today so look what they do they try to sing it for you so like uh, it's like uh, listening to an Indian uh, like the, 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 the native American Indian so and they put it for you like in the in the background of etc and the somebody speaking for the spirit and then there is an eagle come in the sky and all this fiction stupid things and this is what they do they try to avoid us thinking and using our brain about the stupidity in this book by bringing you somebody have a nice voice he sing the Quran for you, you say like wow this is good nice but this voice if he sing a, a song about poopoo is going to look nice it doesn't matter what he's saying this is why people who have nice voice they make out of money it doesn't matter what they say there's billionaires right now millionaires who they have a lot of money and they sing but they sing the B, the B word the F word this is their song still they make a lot of money they are saying the B word the F word the ish word yet they are making millions every day because they have nice voices the question is can you make a smart book like the book of Allah and look at the translation, the deception. Here it says in Arabic, وَمَكَرَ وَيَمْكُرُونَ وَيَمْكُرُ اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ خَيْرُ الْمَكْرِينَ Allah, the best of deceivers. In the translation, they say Allah, the best of the planners. <laughs> Mr. Muhammad Farooq, I challenge you to download this video and post it in your channel because the Muslims will be proud about you. I challenge you every Muslim will be proud about you as long this is a was a good debate for you and you are going to challenge me and and he is the one who called me and he is the one who decide what we are talking about and he is the one who forced me to go there and the funny he said you failed you failed to prove to me anything when I am the only one who is showing proof and reference not a single thing I said without showing you from your books and I made you read it, and yet you eat it. You say to me, you fail. Hmm? Did we have a Did we have a good time, guys? Did we have a good time? Do you see how easy to destroy the stupid cult? This is a stupid cult. This cult is immature cult. Muhammad is immature. His God is immature. He doesn't exist, you know, to say he's immature. But Muhammad obviously is an immature man, and there is many proof that Muhammad is an immature man. Muhammad obviously is immature man and we prove it all over ordering people drinking camel urine is stupid accusing a man that his brother's stomach is lying is stupid just because the medicine of Muhammad did not work claiming that Allah told the truth and your prophet Billy is lying claiming that if you eat seven ajwa that will stop the poison and you will not die and nobody can control you by magic and the funny Muhammad himself was controlled by magic and he was or he died by poison which mean both happened to him and the guy he agreed in his statement not mine that obviously Allah he decreed the death of Muhammad in such a way which mean Allah is the one who sent the Jewish women to kill Muhammad because he was lying about the Quran this is what he said and we have tons of hadith Proving to us that Muhammad is immature. Muhammad marrying a child, she is at the age of six. That is an immature man. Isn't it clear? Muhammad seducing men to marry children. 
trying to make a man hate his wife which is mature women and ask him why you don't marry a child so she can amuse you you can play with her huh why you don't marry young girl is that a mature prophet he gives such an advice as we see in front of us and this is Sahih Hadith a man he is married to a mature woman the Prophet asked him did you marry are you married he said yes he said again a virgin or a previously married is that a mature question imagine you met a friend today in the year 2019 and then somebody ask you did you marry say yes you say to her you say to you is her is her private part used or not used hello now, this is a muslim who's trying to call me imagine he asks you is her private part used or not used and you say to him no it was previously used this is what it mean this is what the question mean does it say version or not version guys does it say version or not version what version mean did she have sex before you or she did not have sex before you and by the way the translation here is not accurate only because the version here is about a child a young child and we will see that in the in the in the coming text is that a mature question from a mature prophet is that a decent even question I go to the church today at Sunday morning I go and ask somebody in the church did you marry he say yes he say is her <coughs> <coughs> is it uh, <coughs> or it's uh, still there's a wax there what is that what is that what kind of a mature prophet what kind of a mature religion we have and then he not only stopped there he started planting his evil plan he said to him after he said to him no previously married whereupon he said the prophet why 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 don't you marry a young girl so she could sport with you sport with her and she could sport with you this is dr phil dr phil advising a man who is married to a mature woman don't marry a mature woman marry immature girl so she can play with you she will bring her barbie and you play with her is that a medicine for the family is that will create a healthy family to have a child wife and the purpose to sport with her what sport we are talking about exactly prophet of allah what the sport a man at the age of 54 in his age he was doing with the six years old aisha football my friend Islam is a cult and a stupid cult and I challenge all the Muslims who listen to this debate to download my video and post it in their channel if you are proud really about what you heard and why we have only 947 like like hello hello why look let me ask you like Muhammad maybe maybe that will make you give us a like why why don't you marry a young girl why let us see dislike like 948 still there oh, it's not working why why don't you marry a young girl uh, we have one like more why it looked like i have to whip the floor to to make people give us a like what's happening here <laughs> don't worry anyway we are going to take it down so guys it is hilarious to be a muslim but it is disgusting to be Muhammad a liar a thief a criminal and yet he add next to his name sallallahu alayhi wasallam Allah himself pray on Muhammad he is the center of the universe even the Quran says Allah in the angels they are praying on the Prophet who are you who are you and he ordered the Muslims not only the angels have to pray on on Muhammad Allah himself and look this is a Muslim translation while he's standing in a prayer chamber the angels called him what what angel this is different this is the wrong one hold on it's my mistake here we go we click the wrong one 
Allah and his angels are praying not a blessing on the Prophet and by the way what do you mean uh, uh, blessing well, what does that mean is if the Prophet is a blessed is a blessed that's it what blessing blessing non-stop is dead one more thing just to show you the immature Prophet Muhammad he have a fight with two of his wives you know he have many He's a collector and then Muhammad he made a verse to support himself against his two wives who they are really big they are five foot and they are scary you know women they are scary brother they have long nails and Muhammad now is scared and look what he said to them if you two turn in repentance to him and your hearts indeed so inclined which means you became a kuffar but if you back each other against him against who Muhammad here we go. Who is going to support Muhammad? Look at this. Truly, truly Allah is his protector. And Jibreel, and verily every righteous Muslim among the Muslims, and furthermore all the angels, like what? All of this against two women? Two women needed this. Muhammad, he needed the support from Allah. Allah is not enough. Allah is not enough. He mature prophet, and not only Al Jibril, Jibril, we 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 Jibril is coming. So all of this to fight two females, they are five foot tall. Allah is his protector. Okay, who else? Is that enough? No, 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 no. Jibril too, brother. Jibril is coming. Jibril, are you there? Are you ready, brother? Yes, I am with you, Prophet Muhammad. If you attack, I will attack with you right now. The women, tell me, just, just point your finger. Where is those two short women? Because they are so short, I cannot see them. Where are they, brother? And not only that, and every righteous Abdul in the world, all of this to fight Al-Qaeda and ISIS and 1.4 billion Muslims now, they are going to stand behind the Prophet against two women. They are five foot tall. And who else? Is that enough? No, the army is growing. And furthermore, the angels, all the angels. Do you think they win? Brother is it Once the Prophet upon him, beat upon him. He had a fight with his wife. And because he had a fight with the wife, Allah decided to send the army. And Allah himself was in the leader of the army. And he decided to protect the Prophet. The women, the prophet, they have their shoes in their hand. Imagine, brother, there are two women, they are carrying their shoes. And women's shoes is very harmful, very dangerous. They wore high heels. Even at that time, they were high heels. A brother and sister. To the prophet, he asked for the help of Allah. And the help came from Allah. And he told him, Allah and the Bril and every believer. And furthermore, all the angels are going to stand with you, prophet. Well, I... It looked like Muhammad is going to fight USA, not like two women. Muhammad did not ask for this help when he fought the Roman. So why he is asking for this help to fight two women? Because he is a fraud. Now, this video will disappear from my channel immediately, and we will load it again in different uh, channel. So you can download it. Just give me two hours or three hours from now. Search for exactly the same title, and you can add, uh, like in the name, debate with Muhammad Farooq. Let us make this guy famous. Help him. He called me, by the way, because he want to show the Muslims he debate Christian Prince. And for sure, Christian Prince is destroyed. I told you, I bought a lot of gloom. I glue myself every day. Oh, boy. I am number one buyer for glue from Amazon.com. So I want to say thank you for being here. I might come at night today. If I can, again, if I can, so we can have more people here from Indonesia and from the east of Asia. If not, then maybe tomorrow. I want to say thank you for your support and your help. And again, we love the Muslims. We don't hate them. But we, we hate lies. And we fight lies. And those poor Muslims, like this guy, he's a poor guy. Trust me, he's a poor guy. I feel sorry for him. What he can do? He's born in this cult. He's defending because he thinks it's an ID for him. It's an identity. But Islam is an identity for no one, only for Muhammad. He used it to control your mind. And now Muhammad dead in the grave. 
the man who says any woman she give herself to the prophet so he can do boom boom with her is dead and still you are his slave fight the slavery my friend only Christ he can free you only the Messiah can bring you freedom and by him we are always victorious not by Christian Prince Christian Prince is no one no one my name is nobody I am victorious by my Lord thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you all and until we see you soon again don't forget to subscribe and join us in minds and other website where we have many pages so you can always be updated Christ is Lord Islam is false and we'll see you soon bye-bye